Have you ever wondered what your wireless system is doing to your tone? Well, don't wonder anymore. Today I'm going to compare the Shure GLXD wireless system with a Klotz titanium guitar cable. I've been using the Shure GLXD now for around five years. I got this in 2013 and I've used it at every single monument show since that point. It's a really, really good quality wireless system. The pluses to the system is it comes with a 16 hour rechargeable battery, which means that you spend a lot less money on batteries on tour. You get to have the freedom of a wireless system without the money associated with buying the batteries. The signal is clean and I've never had a dropout in over those 300 shows that I've played between getting it and to the point now. The wireless system also comes with an inbuilt tuner which is amazing. It's very fast, it tracks very very well and honestly I prefer it to my Boss TU3. The Klotz Titanium guitar cable that I'm holding here, I've been using Klotz cables since about 2013. My entire studio is wired up with Klotz cables, my entire live rig is wired up with Klotz guitar cables. I've never had one break on me and they always sound awesome every night. It's really reassuring to know that these cables are never going to break and I have never had a Klotz cable break on me. For this comparison, I'm gonna try a DI signal and also a heavily distorted signal using both the wireless system and the cable. For this example of taking the post-chorus riff of Garden of Sankara by Monuments, it's on the Amanuensis and I'm just going to play through that in clean um, through a DI. Now for the DI I'm using uh, a Stam Audio 1073 and I've just pl plugged directly into the front of it. For the distorted sound I'm using my Line 6 Helix and it's on um, the PV Panama model. Oh, my God. 
There is both signals, the Shure wireless system and the Klotz cable going directly to a preamp as a DI and through my lights, it's Helix software. Now, I can't really hear any difference between the two. And if I was being very, very nitpicky, I would say that the cable, the Klotz cable has a tiny little bit more presence in the 2K to 4K area, but that's if I'm being really picky. And that could be down to how hard I was picking for the take anyway. So there you have it, it's conclusive. The short wireless system absolutely rules. If you don't have a wireless system, then I wholeheartedly recommend that you check the system out because it hasn't failed me in four years of touring. If you guys want to let you know your thoughts on what you think about this experiment, then please leave your comments in the, in the comment section below. In the meantime, thank you very much, Shaw, for making such great products. This has been awesome for me for the past four or five years. And yeah, I'm gonna run this into the ground until it doesn't work anymore, which hopefully will be never, because it's built like a tank. See you guys later.